Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to the Yale Muslim Students Association, better known as the Yale MSA. My name is Yusra Ahmed and I am a junior in Davenport College studying interdisciplinary political science with a focus on health and health policy as well as being pre-med. But more importantly, I am the president of the Yale MSA, which is comprised of undergraduate and graduate students, Yale faculty and staff. One of our most valued members is Imam Amr Bechwa, or as we call him, OB, who is the Director of Muslim Life through the Yale Chaplain's Office, and he serves as a spiritual guide and advisor to all Muslim students on campus, and especially the MSA. We understand that everyone is on a different place in their spiritual journey, and everyone is welcome to be a part of MSA and attend our events, regardless of where you are at. And with the events that we do have, we work with community service projects, political action, social events, and religious programming. This is an exciting year for us to be able to expand what we do and be more creative with how we do it, whether that is virtual or in person later on. But we hope you are ready and excited to take this journey with us. If you want to stay connected, feel free to follow the Yale MSA on Instagram, which is just at Yale MSA, or join our PAM list to get more information about all of our weekly events through our newsletters. I am so excited to welcome you to Yale and the MSA as well. And it's not just me, it's also members of the MSA board, and they want to share some of their upcoming projects with you. And inshallah, we'll all be able to meet you soon. Salams. Salam, everybody. My name is Elisha Siddiqui, and I'm super excited to be the MSA treasurer this year. I just wanted to hop on and share some exciting updates about MSA, some goals we have planned, and just welcome you to our extracurricular bazaar. So as MSA treasurer, in the past years, we've been responsible for securing funding, and we hope to continue doing this and continue having events, especially ones that we can have during this COVID-19 virtual programming time. Another thing that MSA treasurers have been responsible for is charitable efforts. So one thing we are going to be expanding this year, we in past years we've done Breaking Bread, which is a local charitable effort, but we're hoping to kind of expand our reach through reaching out to larger Muslim organizations by utilizing our inter-MSA and inter-IB networks. So we're hoping to continue expanding those efforts as well as have great events this year. We're super excited for MSA and we all can't wait to meet you. Salams, my name is Shazmina Khan and I'm the political action chair of the Muslim Students Association. I'm a sophomore in Trumbull College looking to major in global affairs. As a political action chair, my role entails internally hosting political events for the MSA. This includes, especially in the coming months, something I'm really excited for, which is bringing in very pertinent and important speakers that can speak on behalf of the Muslim American vote and Muslim American issues and how they can impact the coming elections and where we as Muslim Americans with the MSA place our vote. Also, as political action chair, it is my job to be a liaison, a political liaison to other groups on campus with a political slant as well. This can include other religious organizations or also cultural organizations like Wakasa, SAS, AACC, AFHAM, etc. This can also include other groups on campus such as Young Dems. My job as political action chair is basically to make the institutional ties with these other groups on campus so that we're not only hosting events and organizing things with them, but also have a close connection to them as Muslim students on campus. It is important that we create these connections that will last long beyond just my year as political action chair and hopefully last um, a time as the MSA keeps evolving in the coming years. I'm really, really excited to serve as political action chair this year and really, really looking forward to all the events that inshallah the MSA is going to hold, especially with such an important election year coming right now. I'm excited to meet you all and thank you for listening. Salam everyone, my name is Hajar. I'm a sophomore in Benjamin Franklin College and I'm a prospective MCDB major. I am social chair of MSA this year and my goal is to bridge and strengthen ties between different cultural groups and religious groups on campus and I'm so excited to meet y'all. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Shayan. I'm a rising sophomore in Silliman College, uh, majoring in physics and global affairs and uh, this upcoming year I'm going to be your uh, religious chair for MSA. So I'm your go-to person for all questions about religious programming, um, religious events that we're going to be holding. And um, one of the things I'm really looking forward to this year is um, seeing how all our online program is programming is going to work, especially with uh, our halakas and um, Friday Reflections online. I'm interested in seeing everyone there and wondering how they're going to turn out. Um, so thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone, my name is Yasmin and I'm the MSA Vice President for this year. I'm a junior and MSA has been one of the groups I've been active in since my first year when I served as first year liaison. 
VP is a position where I get to help out our awesome president, Yusra, with some executive tasks, represent MSA to the Yale community, work on partnerships with other organizations, and gather feedback from you all about how our board can better serve our community. Although we're not physically together, I'm looking forward to all the ways we'll be able to continue fostering community, such as online versions of our traditional events like game night, or some new possibilities like a socially distanced Jamaat fair. I look forward to seeing you all either in person or virtually, and thank you.